In this world, there are countless souls who have sacrificed their lives and destinies for the good of humanity. For those in our contemporary times, their sacrifices may not yet be visibly acknowledged, but just as with those in the past, they will never be forgotten. Here is one thing I know about life that is dedicated to sacrificing itself for the good of humanity. It is often never forgotten. Somehow, life always gets announced. A sacrificial man who is giving himself for others may not be known now while he is still alive, but somehow in death he will be remembered. Such is a man like Mahatma Gandhi. There are countless true stories of sacrifice and selflessness about this man, his determination to win his country back from tyrannical reign only by using love as a tool was revolutionary. It may have taken a long time and lots of losses in lives, goods and materials to achieve the freedom he wanted for his people, but eventually he got it. Too often, a man is never forgotten for the sacrifice he makes for his people, such as the case with Mahatma Gandhi. In today's video, I will be sharing with you lessons about sacrifices from the life of Mahatma Gandhi. If you're new here, subscribe to this channel so you don't miss other interesting videos like this. 1. In a gentle way, you can shake the world. Mahatma Gandhi showed us, you don't need to be a superhero to shake the world. You don't need to become a terrorist or use violence to shake the world. You don't have to be in a political office or have all the money in the world to change the world. As long as you are determined to change the world, no matter who you are or what you possess, you can change the world. Mother Teresa didn't have to own the earth before she started to touch the lives of ordinary people with her care. Mahatma Gandhi didn't have to be in power before he began to change the world. A woman in my country named Mama Ekundayo had a home for homeless children for so many years, nobody heard of her sacrifices until a few months to her death. It was a chance encounter with a celebrity that brought her to the public, but years of her sacrifice didn't go unnoticed, not by the children she impacted, nor by the world. You may not own everything there is in the world, you may not own all the fast cars and expensive houses, but I believe deep within each of us is the ability to shake the world positively. Each of us is loaded with all the potential we need to make this world a better place and to touch more lives than we could imagine. I believe strongly that God the Creator is not unfaithful. He gives each of us gifts, talents and opportunities and all of this were never intended to serve us only but much more to serve the world. If all you have and are interested in pursuing is all you alone can enjoy and possess for your lifetime, it is no wonder you never have enough. This is what I have found out. Providence never gives much more to a selfish and self-centered man who only wants to get so that only he and those in his caucus would do well. If Elon Musk had been selfish, he wouldn't give us Tesla and SpaceX. Most of the successful folks may not care much about the world, but one thing is clear, they set out to solve a problem in the world and somehow the universe has a way of paying back those who choose to pick up one of its problems to solve. Haven't you noticed the most successful YouTube channels or businesses were the ones that are focused on solving problems for people? People will give to you when you have helped them solve their problems. Mahatma Gandhi was able to win the hearts of his people and to shake the world because he focused on the core problems of his people and the general human population, freedom from oppressors. If you focus so much on creating jobs because you hate the sight of horrible unemployment rate in the world, you are more likely to succeed because you are focused on the major concern in the world. You don't have to be the best to shake the world. You don't have to own the earth to shake the world. You don't even have to be in government to shake the world. You only have to decide that you will do your best with the little you have to impact the world around you. We don't need you to focus so much on impacting the world all too sudden. Start by impacting the society and people around you and soon your tentacles will spread to the world at large. 2. An eye for an eye only ends up making the whole world blind. I recently watched a movie titled Mission Impossible Fallout. Just at the beginning of the movie, Tom Cruise, the lead actor, needed to make a decision between letting the enemy kill one of his partners so he, Tom Cruise, could quickly get the box he wanted or to save his partner and lose the box. He chose to protect his partner and in the process, lost the box. It cost him a great deal but in the end, that same partner saved him severally. Do you think it would be difficult for such a partner to trust him or to lay down his life for Tom? No, I don't think. I know we have seen lots of movies that teach revenge and having your own pound of flesh but the truth is that great things don't happen to vindictive people. True wealth is not a result of stifling others. Mahatma Gandhi, I'm sure, would have had the chance to set up strategies to kill the oppressors of his countrymen, but he chose the path of love instead. Although this path of love often cost us, in the end, as the Bible admits, love is the most powerful force that would break through any man. 
Therefore, it is easier to mend a broken world with love than it is to try to mend it with violence. That means for you. It is a waste of time trying to crush another for hurting you when you could expend such energy on doing your best to make your life better and to move your life forward. I've seen situations where a person spends years seeking revenge and after getting what he wants, he feels empty. We all have seen such movies before. But although we may dismiss it as not possible, the truth is, the emptiness you feel after getting your own pound of flesh will not be describable. Love's way may be difficult, but Jesus won the hearts of many men just by choosing to forgive those who were hurting him. A vindictive person may seem to always eat his cake, but eventually, he cannot have it. Be content to let things go and move on, rather than dwelling on hurts and halting your life in the process. 3. The future depends on what we do in the present. Mahatma Gandhi might have had the dream to see his countrymen's freedom from tyrannical leaders, but he didn't wait to see that happen in the future. He started working towards it by putting himself out there. He began to speak out for his people. He started by giving up his own life to see that dream achieved. It is not what you say or plan that changes the future. It is the actions you take afterward that change it. You may desire a great future for yourself, your family and others, but sleeping 10 hours daily and working as little as you can hoping things will turn out fine, is a terrible waste of time. You cannot become what you are not prepared for. If you hope to reduce unemployment rates by becoming an entrepreneur who creates jobs, you can't do this by insisting on cutting corners or refusing to learn as much as you can about entrepreneurship. It may require years of reading books on money, finances and business, and practicing those things before you eventually succeed. But here's the thing, if your determination to help people is genuine, and you're willing to put in the price required to achieve that goal, somehow, that sacrifice will never go unnoticed. Somebody somewhere would notice, or somehow, it would come to the ears of the world. We may not know the effect our little, committed sacrifices to others will make now, but soon enough, as long as we commit ourselves to it, we will know. If this video inspired you, like the video. We love you.